Hi there. I am Larry Chang and I'm super excited to present to you my little pitch deck, okay? Uh, I am, to give you some background on where I am right now, I'm in the Sheraton and I'm at the 15th floor and I actually met all of, all y'all with uh, Vincent and Marianne with over at the Greater Austin uh, Black Chamber of Commerce. So I so want to thank them. Uh, and I did actually, right after I pitched, I heard that they didn't have water, bottles of water, okay? So I, I'm in the VIP uh, lounge area, and I tipped somebody to get in here, and I put this up alone. Uh, I, and so I ran water over and solved problems. That's what I am going to not even pitch, uh, tease you with, okay? Which is my company, Larry Chang, if you're taking notes, if you're taking notes, it is Chang, there's an I before the A in Chang, C-H-I-A-N-G, Larry Chang, C-H-I-A-N-G. So, I am pitching this, hashtag engineering 145, okay? It's super innovative, yet it's also classically a shout out callback to a, not even a time that long ago where this is nothing new okay but it's but it's conjured up and it's it's engineered up actually uh, to be a truly truly I'll let you judge for yourself I think it's absolutely incredible there's no website okay there's no app we're not doing apps here okay that's so this is all stuff that's inside of what they do teach you at Stanford Engineering. Now, my role is kind of unique. I would never have gotten into Stanford had I not played a sport, okay? I went to the University of Illinois. I had to not necessarily crash, but basically crash. In the same way that I'm doing here, I had to buy my way in. Just like I bought my way in here with tipping, just like I bought my way on campus via Stanford's Men's basketball. I'm a booster, okay? I'm a booster. So moving along, I backed into teaching at a school. Engineering 145 is all about giving everyone access to the free videos, to the free knowledge. Now, am I all about giving everything away? No, because of this. I love money. I love EUBM, okay? It's a related hashtag, it's part of it, because you got to follow the money, okay? Just like uh, everything, following the money. Engineer UBM, this is what it stands for, please write this down, because if you do turn me down, I want you to have this knowledge completely free, okay? Sounds like I'm hard selling you, okay? I am not. I'm just excited about my mentor's knowledge, Mark McCormack. Uh, he started IMG as M A C Mark McCormack, so it's M A C. It ends with M A C K. He absolutely mentored me uh, and wrote the New York Times bestseller, "What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School." And he taught me that if you're going to do a business, you need to engineer up a business model. So, business model number one, okay, quasi-free events semi-free events. On the other end of the spectrum of Engineering 145, buying and selling companies. Buying and selling companies. Engineer up a business model. This is the core franchise for Engineering 145. That is the core franchise to Engineering 145. This is what I'm going to gift, okay, to the Greater, Greater Austin Black Chamber of Commerce, and that is this. Baby businesses. Baby businesses are this. It's a, it's a business that is not seeking to be the next Facebook, doesn't want to be the next Google, okay? That puts a lot of pressure on even these kids, okay? Those kids doing a, a Snapchat, okay? Kind of tough, kind of tough sometimes. Doing a baby business, uh, buying and selling stuff on eBay. 
before you scoff and laugh at that, did you know that the human brain knows very little distinction between making a $25 profit or a $25,000 profit or a $250,000 profit? In fact, there is so little distinction that, that I argue that it's the same dollar amount. And what you're trying to do with baby businesses is we are turning entrepreneurship from our societal perfection, okay, to a practice. That's actually not even me really giving you that genius. That's my yoga teacher, Giselle Mari. Giselle Mari. She's a rock star. Jiva Mukti. I can actually touch my toes if you care. Entrepreneurship should be a practice, and that's what Engineering 145 is. It's a practice, and it's in a feed, so you're probably looking up the feed, obviously, right now. Now, this is going to rock your world. This is going to absolutely rock your world. I know you guys probably just eat out all the time, but I absolutely think that everyone can cook, and everyone is a little bit entrepreneurial everyone is partially entrepreneurial it's chapter nine of my book i'm not going to plug the book okay i don't want you to be curious about the book just know that chapter nine of my book is of all three books one has been released one is in route everyone is a little bit entrepreneurial it's chapter nine there's the nine types of entrepreneurs in fact don't buy the book google the content okay it's all free just like the engineering 145 in the movie Ratatouille, in the movie Ratatouille, the rats had a mentor that was a chef, and that was his theory: is that everyone can cook. I think everyone's partially entrepreneurial, and that's why doing that's why doing uh, doing the practice makes it awesome. That is my mentor, and that is why I'm doing this. I'm not here to beg all y'all for thirty-five thousand dollars at one-third the company, okay? I'm doing it to activate his knowledge because he literally, okay, he literally thinks and knows that it doesn't take money to make money. You can actually make money while you're making money. You can make money while you're making money. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but also uh, another mentor of mine, Tom Chang, uh, I don't call him that to his face. It's my father. But I do behind his back. Tom Chang, dad, this doesn't go anywhere. Tom, dad, not, he would ask me the question, what do you call a person that buys something for $3 and sells it for 20 and thinks that it's 5% margin? Buys for, buys for three, sells for 20, thinks it's 15% margin. What do you think that is? A genius! Yeah, because he's buying stuff for three and selling for 20. Who cares how to calculate profit margin? I am engineering trained. Are you curious? Are you curious? Are you curious? I wrote this uh, blog post. I'm a writer. I'm a reader. I read. I like to reread. I like to execute, re-execute. That is the, is, makes you wonder well, if that's the fifth epiphany, uh, what are the first four? That would be transitioned from another mentor. That would be Stephen Blank. So I, you know how like songs, okay, so I DJ'd five books. You know how like songs, the old way was you play one song, let it stop, play another song. The old way was to write one book review, okay? That's what Engineering 145 is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mashup of all the great stuff not all the great stuff. What I believe hand curated, meaning I could not tweet, I could maybe potentially never tweet again under Engineering 145, but the feed going back to 09 when I started teaching is tremendous. All of it is legal, all of it is uh, open source intellectual property. I changed the content 25%. It's at a half a dozen schools already. The fifth epiphany, I'm gonna brag a little bit. The fifth epiphany is funny. The fifth epiphany. In case you guys wanted to see like my backside, like the angle, I model. Actually, I don't just model, I supermodel. So if you wanted to like catch my angle. The fifth epiphany is, it's funny too. I wrote it in a school's uh, blog in the Boston area um, called Harvard. 
The fifth epiphany is five books. It's Stephen Blank's Four Steps to an Epiphany that talks about how to get engineers to dabble in selling. It talks about business model generation. So I did the sequel to all these books, sequels, in a future book. Did that totally confuse you guys? So yes. So I took five books, I mashed them together into Engineering 145. I mashed them together, and these are the books. I mashed them together, and it came up with one epiphany, which pushes energy into Engineering ENGR 145. Here are the five books. Uh, Mark McCormick's What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School. Stephen Blank's book, uh, Crossing the Chasm. Okay, or Stephen Blank's book, uh, Four Steps in Epiphany. I was jumbled. Jeffrey Moore's Crossing the Chasm. Business Model Generation. Do you guys remember slide two? Well, slide two is the sequel to Business Model Generation. Okay, it's engineer up a business model. Hashtag EUBM under the hashtag ENGR145. And Eric Ries' book, Lean Startup, also a New York Times bestseller, which I helped. All of these conjure up together into a like a five song mashup. And what the fifth epiphany is, is it's the sequel to all these books. Am I going to take time to write out another book that's a sequel to all these books? No. What I am going to do, what I am going to do is, what I am going to do is, is just write a book report of their future books. Jeffrey Moore wrote the book. Am I losing any of you guys? This is super fascinating. Okay, this is worth the price of sitting in on an engineering class at Stanford. This is scandalous. This is awesome. So Jeffrey Moore, giving you a very specific example, I will try to simplify this down. And I've had practice doing it, so I can go sophisticated and simple. And this is actually going to get even more simpler with a really cute little pet puppy. Crossing the Chasm, Jeffrey Moore wrote this book in 1991. He wrote Inside the Tornado afterwards, and then later on he wrote Escape Velocity. So I'm reading all these books, and I'm reading Escape Velocity, I'm thinking, Escape velocity is really about fighting gravity. Do we really want to fight gravity? Because I am 6'5", I'm 222 pounds, but if a person uses gravity, like a 95-pound Filipino male boxer, heck, even a 94-pound female boxer, or not even a boxer, a 94-pound Filipino girl, could kick my ass if she, like, you know, does all that jujitsu stuff. That's what my sequel to Jeffrey Moore's book that he has not yet written called Crossing the Chasm from the Right. That has a hashtag, it's CTCFTR. Let me repeat that. Crossing the Chasm from the Right. Crossing the Chasm from the Right. By the way, this is very strange. Typically during lectures, do you want to listen to me talk for 90 minutes all lecture? No. I am just going to be on that person who's sitting first chair entrepreneurship, okay, where I would sit. I don't speak the whole time. I listen. I'm a motivational listener. So for me to talk this whole time, kind of awkward. But I do want to tweet and hear your thoughts. Here's my cell phone number if you want to write it down. It is 650. Grab a pen, grab a pen, grab a pen. 650-283-8008. So it ends with 8008. In the middle is 283, area code 650 in Palo Alto at Stanford, California, 94305. 650-283-8008. Crossing the Chasm from the Right is the sequel book, future sequel book to Jeffrey Moore's book. It's kind of a little good-natured ribbing for, yeah, you need to make money selling books, and I don't. Crossing the Chasm from the Right has a hashtag, and it breaks down into all these steps. The reason I use all these hashtags is I got frustrated when I was an undergrad, before I met Mark McCormick in his book, I got frustrated when people say, just do the homework before the meetings. I'd be like, well, what exactly do I do? That's 